OEC is much like all the other cooperatives around the country that uh, provided electricity back whenever the for-profit said they wouldn't do it. And they kind of went where no one else would go. So OEC was founded over 83 years ago, member still, still member owned, member based um, initiatives that we, on the electric side of everything that we do. And so we've incorporated a lot of that um, mentality and spirit and, and ideas and ideologies and the same thing with fiber. What I always tell people is I say, we're basically replacing electric lines with fiber lines and recreating history that nobody else will be able to ever do again. There's a magazine that goes out to all the electric cooperative members in the state and they were doing all these stories on broadband. So it was kind of just the theme of that month. And the members just outpouring of feedback that, hey, they're like, hey, electric cooperatives do this and we've been waiting for someone. We didn't know you guys did that. Once they figured out that we did that or other co-ops are doing it around the country, they inundated us. Too much for me to ignore. So at that point, I said, we got to do a feasibility study, at least to see what we're talking about. The broadband deployment that we're looking at doing, the, I said, the members are screaming and, and we have 5,000 miles of line, 5,000 miles to build. And, and someone's going to be first and someone's going to be last. And that last member, and as a co-op, everybody is equal. Um, you have to approach this as a startup for-profit business. So you have to go where it makes most sense financially first. And f I mean, financially is where you can get the most, where the density is where you get the most return. I like to focus on the customer experience because thinking from their perspective, you might not understand the full scope of the project. So I like to break it down into understandable bits of information and just continue to communicate that as we get questions on social media, as people call in, as we craft our message. I want all of that to be really clear that we're here to build something from scratch. It's gonna take time. It'll be really, really worth it once we finish building it. But, uh, but it's a little bit different than just flipping a switch on. We now have very high uh, communications to all of our electrical equipment that has a lot of technology coming uh, down the road as well. So we're able to, to further do things like self-healing grids. We can do a lot more smart grid applications. In fact, that was, that was a huge, almost the driving part to do this is that what, what it can do for us on the electric side and you know, we tell the story about the broadband and the members, but, but you know, from my point of view, the hooking up all of our electrical equipment is, was the first priority in all of this. Um, and you can kind of see that in how we built it. What I quickly realized in this whole process is that this is a huge project and really big, complicated thing. So as much as we could do that is not out on an island and not a one-off, if we can just stay in the center lane and not even get in the right or left, stay in the center lane of what everybody's doing, that will benefit us because Calix is working with us, but then they're also working with X number of other cooperatives. So we all benefit from that as opposed to going with a solution that we may be the only cooperative they're using. People can make network devices that can go in the home. Calix makes it a little bit better, but then what they also bring is people that, that, are, that, that are unique and different to the situation. So I don't see it just as running an internet company, getting people on Facebook, Amazon, or whatever, streaming TV services or any kind of stuff like that. It's changing lives is what the reason why I came to OEC Fiber and, o and OEC is recreate history that happened 83 years ago with electricity. We're gonna do it the OEC Fiber way with just a little twist, a little bit different, a little bit unique, and hopefully get ahead of everybody.